Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Trains and today you are joining me as I put together the complete Hornby basic track mat layout and that is complete with your basic oval and track pack A then we have got track pack B, C and D here if I can try and get this into camera um, and basically you're going to see me go through all of these track packs individually and then see the finished product when they're all placed together and hopefully you'll enjoy it right, <laughs> hopefully this is going to be useful to somebody let's get into the train room so here you can see we've got the beginner's oval here with what would effectively be track pack expansion A with that little side into the right hand side that is what you'll get with most of the Hornby train sets and I've done a proper in-depth unboxing and construction and review of that track layout uh, which I'll leave a link to in the description below but for now we want to get stuck in with track expansion pack B so this isn't going to add miles and miles of track or anything crazy like that this is simply adding half of the inner radius of track from this uh, simple Hornby track mat layout so here you can see the only really exciting part of the track is that point just to the left there which is going to act as a junction from the outer to the inner radius. So you can see here that's the part in red that we're adding. So I'll say for my part as I've said in my previous video where I did the unboxing and construction of that initial setup that I am really impressed with how nicely the Hornby track all fits together and what an absolutely beautifully smooth little system and run round the trains can have on it which is something that I really do I don't know it's it's something that it's just nice to know that it's good quality and it all sits nice and flushly and all just runs in a really smooth almost hypnotic way anyway as you can see this is track pack expansion B we've got track pack expansion A in here as I say as part of that initial setup that came with the West Coast Highlander set and well here's your simple junction so if we reverse the train back now you'll see just nice and smoothly goes back on to the inner radius and that's all there is really to say about track pack expansion B so now we want to get ourselves stuck into track expansion pack C so with track pack C we're going to complete the inner radius and we're also going to have to link them together with a little link cable kit which will provide electric current throughout all of the track and this is one of the things that I think is good about starting out your Hornby Railway experience by completing this simple track layout because you get to learn these simple things about how a railway track operates by basically well I personally at least would say that it wasn't even something I would have considered had I have just bought a load of track and tried to build a layout from scratch with no experience that there might be parts of the track that didn't have an electric current and didn't well literally weren't able to run a train on so that's one of the reasons that I'm glad that I set up this initial Hornby track mat, lay track mat layout my goodness me sorry I keep saying track mat and pack I haven't got a clue which order those words should be in but as you can see this is the simple link wire assembly and it's nothing major you can see there's two little grooves just below the rails themselves there on certain sections of the tracks and the only thing to watch out for here is that you want to make sure you're connecting the correct rail line to the correct rail line on both exterior and interior radiuses that sounds maybe more complicated the way I just worded it but believe me read the instructions take your time and you'll figure it out nice and easy I'm quite sure so you can see here we've now got our complete inner radius running nicely with electric current going all the way through and we have got a complete outer radius and also the complete extension of the side in just to the right hand side which now goes out to a point that would uh, be in an engine shed or something else of your desire if you wanted to complete this layout and build it all as a 3D uh, scene so on to track pack D with track pack D things are slightly different as we're not so much adding loads more track as we are adding just the final finishing touches to this basic track layout so you can see we've got a level crossing that we'll have a closer look at the construction of in just a second and we've got just a few bits of track here but because that level crossing is going to be replacing two of the existing straights of the track that's already laid down we'll use those parts that we take out to extend the straight up to that station on that very inner part of the track 
And that's another uh, little thing that I quite like about the efficiency of these track packs, that you don't have bits left over that aren't useful. They're very cunningly and cleverly put together so that you can use different bits to extend extra parts of the track that, well, again, I, it makes it sound way more complicated than it is the way that I talk about it. So here you have two options. You've got a sort of more modern track uh, level crossing that can have the little light set up so that you've got the barriers that come down across the track and then little lights and sirens and what have you. Or you can have what I personally view as the older, more rural countryside type of level crossing with just the gates that go across the track there. So that's just something that's just my personal preference to build it in that way. But you can see, once we've put it all together, we've got a nice solid track that's all looking very good. I've got to say, I am really pleased that I decided to set up this complete Hornby Railway, as I feel that I learned quite a lot about the general layout and workings of a Hornby track, as not only has it taught me, obviously, how and if everything goes together in terms of the basic track layouts, but as I mentioned earlier, how to provide electricity from one part of the track to the next, and also learning exactly what sort of points and junctions we need and how those pieces go together to give different options to how you want to use the trains and how you want them to run around the track. And that's something that I took on board as valuable experience when building my slightly more complex layout. But also, it's not really more complex at all. It's a very similar layout, if anything, that I've got currently just with an extra point so that the track can go seamlessly halfway through the outer track and halfway through the inner track in an endless circle so i will leave you at this point here my friends do check out my other videos so i've got loads more train stuff going on i've got plenty more train stuff to come as well in the future loads of metcalf cardboard construction scenery and basically i'm building from absolute scratch a complete 3d railway scene that's going to be a project that lasts me well into next year. So please do check out my other videos. Have an absolutely fantastic day. I hope this has been in some way useful or interesting to you. And well, check the links in the description to find me all over the internet doing all sorts of bits and bobs. And until the next time, my friends, keep it train worthy, keep it interesting, have a fantastic day, and of course, farewell.